Hi. Just want to show you some old equipment that I picked up today. My friend came by and picked up his Yezu Wo-100 monitor scope and he dropped off some old equipment that someone had gave him and uh, we thought we'd take a look at it right quick just a very short radio and these will be some future restorations over on the bottom right have a Kenwood TS520 uh, I hooked the radio up it receives, it receives pretty good and uh, controls are very dirty it's a little crusty, needs a good cleaning and the output power is only about 3 watts most above that is a Heath kit this is a transmitter, it's a DX-20 CW unit unit powers on it shows voltage shows no grid current so uh, that should be a fun little project to restore I've always loved the old heath kit transmitters so I think the uh, DX20 will be a nice little addition to my collection here we have a another heath kit it's the HP-23 power supply I haven't checked that unit out yet, so I don't know what it is. Below that, that's an ICO. It's a model uh, 215 single generator. And it needs, chassis is rusty, paint's popped off, the front is very dirty. But you see, it has your external modulation your band switch, attenuator, multiplier, RF out jack and this great big old display and a smaller display there I want to restore this just to go with my collection because I think that will look nice with my old ICO 460 sitting back there in the corner but I thought this was very um, unusual. This is a Hewlett Packard. Um, it's the model 14A. Volt ohm meter. Does AC and DC. Plus resistance. And uh, when I saw that I said oh my god. But uh, I powered the unit up. It does measure DC voltage. I think it's in dire need of recapping. So we'll look at doing that. And the whole front faceplate is very dirty. So what I'm going to have to do is take the faceplate off after I clean it all up and scan it. And then we'll see if we can work on uh, making some new decals. And put on it and get it all fixed up and add that to my little collection so if we look at the bottom of it you can see this looks like two binding posts here and it says AC volts ohms common and DC volts so what's all that about simple you open the door pull it out just a little bit you reach in and this is your AC probe. All this pulled out. And once you get all of that out of there. You just line up the leads and you can close it back up there we go and then we have our 
Ohm's probe there and our DC probe plus just real neat looking uh, AC probe I've never seen one like this very different so that should make for a nice restore and uh, it'll probably be something we won't use but we'll set it on the shelf for a conversation piece and you can see right there the meter it says Hewlett Packard and uh, it's very dusty it's going to need cleaning up so anyway I just thought I'd share all this with you so maybe you can uh, be looking for some future videos and we'll see what we can do with this old stuff I love old equipment I love restoring it making it work again and uh, just enjoy it anyway if you like the little video give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you again later